Hey, I'm Joe with Revzilla, and on the lift today, we'll be installing a new tech Nitro Moose tire insert. These are solid foam inner tubes for your dirt bike tires. Why would you want that? Stick around to find out. So there's actually a few reasons to switch your dirt bike's traditional inner tubes out for a set of Nitro Mooses. The big one is zero flats. Since the Mooses are not filled with air, they are pinch and puncture proof. That means you'll no longer need to carry spare tubes or tire tools on your rides. And lastly, you'll get improved traction. The standard ones feel around 10 to 12 PSI and the soft ones feel like around six to eight PSI. But if you do want more info specific to the Nitro Mooses, be sure to check out my detailed breakdown video on our product page. This product is made to work exclusively with dirt bikes. So we're gonna use Spurgeon's 2018 KTM 350 EXCF to show you the installation process on the rear wheel. But first things first, let's go over what we need to get the job done. First on the list are new tires. I don't recommend installing these in used tires since the tire's beads should be in perfect condition. Next, you wanna make sure you have the appropriately sized mooses. An improperly sized moose will drastically reduce your bike's handling and the life of the moose itself. So be sure to use the Nitro Moose fitment chart on our product page for reference when shopping for them. A tire changing stand with the bead breaker does make this job a lot easier, but it's not absolutely necessary. You can certainly get away with the trusty old milk crate. You'll also need wheel removal tools like axle nut and pinch bolt wrenches. Some bikes may need a hex axle tool like this one, so be sure to check your bike's service manual for the wheel removal process specific to your machine. A wrench for your rim lock, five or more curved tire irons and a few bead holder tools. Moose lube is included with each moose, so be sure you don't accidentally throw it away since it's an important part of the installation process. Last but not least, some rubber gloves and shop rags. This is a somewhat messy job. And here's a pro tip. Cut a valve stem out of an old inner tube, which can be used later on to help seat the tire with a tire pump or air compressor. So step one will be removing the old tire and inner tube from your wheel. Then clean up your rim with some soap and water. Go ahead and apply half the moose loop to the inside of the new tire and the other half to the moose itself. Spread it as evenly as possible. Now, if you're wondering what the lube is for, there will be quite a bit of friction between the moose and the tire as you ride, creating excessive heat, which is no good for mooses. This lube cuts down on the friction and heat, preventing the moose from deteriorating. Now, work the moose into the tire. I find it's easiest to just use my foot to mash them in there, but obviously you're gonna get some lube on your shoes, so be careful you don't go sliding across your shop when you go to step away. Another pro tip is that warm, flexible tires do make this job a lot easier. I like to let them sit out in the sun for a while, but if it is a cold and cloudy day, a heat gun or hair dryer will do the trick. And lastly, you'll need to reinstall your original rim lock loosely in your rim. And another pro tip here would be that now is the time to install the old valve stem through the rim to aid in seating the tire. This is not a requirement, but it can help seat the bead later on when we finish installing the tire on the rim. Now you're ready to mount your first tire bead. Get the first bead of the tire between the rim lock and the rim and work away from it using two tire irons to make your way around the rim. Work in small increments versus big sections. It's much better to go slow to prevent damaging the tire. With the first bead mounted, now work around the rim and get the moose in place into the rim's drop center if it hasn't already situated itself. This can be done by hand or by foot, or you could use your curved tire irons. At this point, we're about halfway done and it's time to mount the second tire bead. This is admittedly the toughest part of the job, so take your time. It's more technique than muscle. Start opposite of the rim lock, levering the second bead onto the rim. It's important to push the bead into the drop center as you work around, so you will be able to get it all the way on. I like to use bead holders in addition to the tire iron hooks on my tire stand. Now you can see why we need so many tire irons and bead holders as we work around the rim. 
Once you get to the last bit of the bead, you should be right at the rim lock. So use a tire iron to push the rim lock down into the moose and allow the bead of the tire to slide under it. At this point, we're just about done. All that's left is seating the beads if the tire hasn't seated all the way on its own. You may need to push the tire around a bit to get the bead fully seated. You can also bounce the wheel a few times. If the bead is not fully seating, use the valve stem you installed earlier to blast some air into the tire. This usually gets the tire situated right away. If you chose to skip the valve stem installation, you can use an air compressor with a rubber tipped air chuck to blast air right into the empty hole where the valve stem usually resides. Once the bead is fully seated on both sides of your wheel, be sure to tighten your rim lock down to factory torque specs. You've done it. Now you know how to install nitro mousses on your own. Now you can clean up your wheels and tools with some soap and water. And unfortunately, you may have scratched up your rims a little bit, but don't fret. New tech is nice enough to include some fancy stickers to cover them up. But since KTM rims are black, I just usually touch them up with a permanent marker. Now reinstall your wheels and go shred. Enjoy no longer having to carry flat repair tools and the benefits of low PSI level traction without having to worry about puncturing your inner tubes. Now some lube will likely purge out as you ride. Don't sweat it, it's totally normal, just wipe it down. And you'll notice over time, your moose will probably become a little bit softer and you'll notice the tire starts to look a little bit square. This is a good time to consider replacement. But I've been getting about several tires per each moose. This really depends on how and where you ride. Just be sure you re-lube everything during each new tire install. A new tube of moose lube is only about five bucks. And if you have any other questions about mooses, tires, or anything else motor related, give our Gear Geeks a shout at 877-792-9455 or shoot an email to cs at revzol.com. Thanks for watching us on the lift today. I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time.